Maybe you can sympathize with this issue. You're flying your drone on your tiny little phone and you really want a bigger screen. Ideally, I would fly with a projector displaying it on the side of the barn. But that seemed a little excessive to me, so I decided to fit this iPad on this controller for my Mavic. Now, there's a couple different ways I can create a holder for the iPad. I can either use a spring-loaded type clamp like this one that I have for my iPhone, or we can create something with a little knob that you turn that clamps down on both sides of the iPad. I like that option better. I started off by cutting my three and a half inch piece of poplar into a perfect square. Then I needed to cut the grooves for the iPad to rest in. Since I don't have a table saw, I have this little stop system on my lighter saw that allows me to go to a certain depth and then just do multiple passes to get a nice slot. The only issue I had was I had to flip the boards to complete the cuts. This project was one of those ones where, well, you'll see. But I thought I could drill these holes by hand, so I went ahead and started drilling. These holes are for mounting blocks to the square that we've cut, as well as for mounting to the sliding rails of the clamp. I've been freehanding holes since I was a kid, so I was kind of confident, a little overconfident here, and yeah. The slider rails were made from some quarter inch steel rod, and I used some quarter inch all thread rod for the driving screw. I used some brass bushings to allow the clamp to slide smoothly on the steel rods. This ended up being pretty much the most expensive parts of the entire build. They just press right into the wood. No glue was required for that. That's really not going to work. See, I didn't drill this hole accurately enough. And so this angle here is a little off. So I think I'm going to have to go use my friend Justin's drill press. Yeah. And remake that. I'm going to take this moment to ask you guys to just support the channel. If you guys like what I'm doing, I ask that you like, comment, and subscribe as always. Those things help out a lot. So thanks. So having a drill press is one of those things that I've kind of avoided for years, but after this project, I'm really thinking I may have to go and invest in one or build one. In fact, comment below if you would like to see me build a drill press. So I use this pretty crazy piece of U-channel to clamp the blocks vertically in the drill press. And it ended up working pretty well. Whenever I'm doing something like this that requires a high degree of accuracy, I'm always a little bit skeptical of my ability to get it square. In this case, it came out close enough that everything worked. So just test fitting everything together, you could see that well, it works. Next, I had to drill the hole in the center, which would be for the screw to go in. I used one of these threaded quarter inch inserts that you just simply thread into the wood and then you can put your piece of all thread rod into that. 
Of course, you need a hole in the clamp lock as well for the off rod to pass through. I decided to roughen up the steel rods a little bit before I epoxied them into the blocks. I just used a file and chucked the thing in the drill uh, before I epoxied. I've been really loving this epoxy. I haven't really used it much before in my life, but I find it so useful in so many projects. The entire clamp is going to be put into the bottom of the Mavic controller where you would typically clamp a phone. So I just created some aluminum pieces to fit inside of that clamping mechanism. And then you need to mount this to the clamp itself. I drilled a couple holes through the big poplar piece and then transferred these onto the aluminum by clamping the aluminum to it. There's numerous different ways of mounting the aluminum plates to the bottom of the clamp. This is just one method. This is pretty much the simplest method I could think of. I wouldn't mind having one that was a little bit more repositionable though in retrospect. Two pieces of aluminum are not thick enough in here to provide a tight fit. So everything just kind of flops around. But fortunately, I have some balsa and I can shim that. Uh, this was left over from my rocket boat. If you never saw that video, you should check it out here. The balsa is really nice to work with. You can just cut it with your knife. I ended up putting two pieces of balsa between the two pieces of aluminum before reassembling everything. The way the screw in the mechanism works is that there's nuts on both sides of the sliding block. Then when you turn the knob, it moves that block in and out by progressing the screw in and out of the clamp. I don't stain things often because it ends up being a lot more work than using something like tongue oil or Danish oil, but for this case I wanted it to be black. I love how this iPad mount came out. It's so easy to use, you just put it into the controller where your phone was, you want to make sure it's in there the whole way, that way it's nice and secure, and you clamp it down just like your phone. Then you take your iPad and you slide it in and crank down the clamp. On the connection side, you need to use a USB cable like one that came with your phone or your iPad. You plug that into the USB port on the bottom of the controller and then into the lightning port on the iPad. And you are ready to go. I like this configuration a lot because I have a clear view of the screen on the controller as well as the iPad and everything's just very secure and it feels really solid. Another cool thing about this clamp is it could be easily adopted to work on a tripod, or you could put it in a different configuration around the controller. So just something to think about if you are thinking about building this clamp. And I will catch you guys in the next video. That's it.